Hey, Jordan Bench here, jordanbench.com. In this video, we're gonna share with you how to make chickpea cookie dough balls. So this is my wife, Laura, and she's actually gonna be the one showing you how to do most of these steps because she's much more of a cook than what I am. Oh, I don't even know if I'm a cook, but a little bit better than you, how's that? <laughs> so this recipe, why are we making this recipe in the first place? Uh, well, you know, basically because it is considered like a healthier dessert option. I can't really say it's a healthy snack just because mm -hmm. it still has chocolate chips in it. Um, there's not a ton of protein, but we are going to add some protein to it, sneak it in. But I just honestly think it's a great healthier option for desserts because with the cookie dough and just the dessert balls that it's in, um, it's just a really sweet treat that's not as bad as having like a pint of ice cream at night or having cake and cookies and all the kind of junk food desserts. This is a much healthier option. It's gluten-free, gotcha. easier with digestion because chickpeas aren't an inflammatory food for most people. It's actually very gentle. So I think it's a win-win. So yeah, when I, I first heard of this recipe, I thought this sounds nuts. Like I know chickpeas. chickpeas. Trust me, it's good. It's but so good. When we tried it, this is actually awesome. You're yes. gonna love this taste, and it's you know it's not amazing for you, but yet it's gonna be much better than a lot of the other things out there yeah. that you would typically go for for dessert. So this is awesome. So okay, so yes. let's get started. Okay. So what's our first step? Well, our first step is you need like either a food processor or we're going to try to get away with our blender. We do have a food processor, but it's such a big one that because of the smaller amount, I don't know if it's going to work the best. So if you have a food processor, then use that. If you don't, then use a blender. Um, we are going to add our already roasted or baked chickpeas. This is one can of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, whatever you want to call them and they bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes and we allow them to completely cool because we tried this recipe with them uh, still hot like warm out of the oven and when we added our chocolate chips at the very end because it was still warm it actually kind of melted the chocolate chips a little bit so if you don't want that effect then let them completely cool first so okay. we're going to put them into the blender if I don't make a mess they go everywhere yeah, and for me, I would prefer to have like the chocolate chip chunks within my yeah, that chickpea. Yeah, a little crunch of a chocolate chip. Rather than being kind of like smeared throughout the whole thing. Right. Me too. Me too. So we're going to try it this way. Okay. Now, I'm going to take over of holding the camera because <clears throat> I'm with Jordan. We're going to pulse this. So you don't want to like let it get blended really long time or something. We're going to try to just kind of pulse it to like a creamy... Uh, consistency, mm -hmm. you try to break down the skins of the chickpeas best we can. Yeah, we're actually going to end up blending this twice. So yeah. because of that, I don't have to do the best job this first time. Right. Yep. All right, so let's get this going. All right, so once you have that done, we're going to start adding in our ingredients. I'll let Jordan take over. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so she's blended. First thing, so we have basically like a powdery, it almost looks like flour, to be mm -hmm. honest. I think that's why you bake it, to make it more of a flour, chickpea flour. Um, so we're going to add in two, I'm sorry, three, three tablespoons of honey. This is, uh, what is it, organic, natural honey? Yeah. Honey, yep. yep. Some All right. natural add sweetness. Some of that in there. Next, we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Perfect. And then, now this is optional. So, this is optional. This is a vanilla protein powder. It's basically like two heaping teaspoons of it. Um, you can add more or less if you want to. Uh, this is just going to add some protein to it. Or if you want, if it's if the consistency at the very end of it is really like still runny to make balls out of it, then you can add more protein powder because it's going to help dry it out. Um, so it's totally up to you. This is just a vanilla protein powder. This is whey protein. If you want to, another protein I like to use, hang on one second. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Is a plant-based protein powder because I don't do the best with dairy. Um, this is a brand Plant Fusion, I'm not sponsored in any way, but this is just a plant-based protein powder. This is actually cookies and cream, and it tastes really good and with the cookie dough, cookies and cream flavor. So I'll add, again, like probably two heaping teaspoonfuls of this in it. So you 
figure out what protein you want. But for this one, we're using vanilla. Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay, then we have two tablespoons of a natural peanut butter, and I'm using creamy. Okay. Okay. And then more healthy fats. We're going to add two tablespoons of organic unrefined coconut oil. And then that is it as far as the ingredients. What we're going to do is have Jordan mix that up again mm -hmm. because the last ingredient we're going to add is like the best ingredient, I think, which is the chocolate chips. Yep. So we'll mix this up. Okay, ready? Fire away. If you guys don't have like a tamper tool, like a tool with that, um, you'll just have to kind of stop your blender along the way and maybe scrape the sides, the edges, so it's all getting mixed up. All right, so it's in a bowl, and if you notice that you need to stir it to mix it any better, you can. Um, this right now, I mean, it's a good consistency to, to put in a ball, but it's just a little dry, just a tad bit. So what I'm gonna do is just add, this is a tablespoon of water. I don't even think I'm gonna add all of that. You can always add more, but I'd hate to have it too runny. So let's put some in and see if it, that will soften it. You could also probably add a little bit more coconut oil. That might actually help too. You know, we're just gonna dig our hands in. Okay, let's go ahead and dump in. We have a third a cup of chocolate chips. These are mini chocolate chips. You can use regular ones. Um, if you think a third a cup is too less or too much, you can figure out that quantity for yourself. Once you have that, whatever consistency you want, you're just gonna start making your balls. So you're just gonna grab portion. I would say like golf ball size. Roll between your hands. There you go. Right there. Put on a plate or in a container and continue till you have the whole thing done. And then you want to just store these. I'll just stop. Um, what you're going to do after you're done is just store them in an airtight container in the fridge. I think they probably freeze well too if you want to keep them in the freezer. But yeah, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it. Okay, awesome. So we hope you guys like this video that um, these chickpea cookie, cookie dough um, balls that are, we think they taste really, really good. And oh, it's yeah. just a really good like dessert to have on hand, you know, for someone who doesn't want to have to like dip into you know, tons of ice cream or whatever it may be. So <laughs> anyways, if you like this video, give it a hand and give it a like. If you have any questions for us or if you have any other recipes you'd like to like inform us of, go ahead and comment that below. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, before you leave, one last thing. <laughs> we want to show you a different way of doing this recipe because I've tried it both ways and I like both of them. But there's a way that you could make these chickpea cookie dough balls without baking the chickpeas. But here's the thing. Here's two differences you have to do. I did not bake the chickpeas. I just put them in the blender or the food processor. You still grind it down first. Add your ingredients, but you will notice that is a very uh, creamier consistency to where there's no way you're gonna be able to put it in balls. Mm -hmm. So the trick to it is when you get to the protein powder portion, you have to add, I added basically one scoop of a plant-based protein powder. I did use that plant fusion cookies and cream flavor. You could use a vanilla, uh, you could probably even do chocolate, whatever, flavor you want. If you have a whey protein powder, that's fine, but you just have to figure out how much of the powder to add that's going to allow you to roll the dough into balls, okay? That's what it comes down to. Plant-based proteins, they don't they uh, soak up uh, soak up water, moisture a lot easier or more than a whey protein. So, you'll have to figure that out. But when you roll these, then it'll be perfectly fine. I found that this version without baking the chickpeas is more of a creamier consistency. They're both good. They're both really good whether you bake the chickpeas or not. So I just want to give you that quick tip. Mm -hmm. If you don't have time to bake them, you can still make this recipe. You just got to add more protein powder to thicken up the dough. Awesome. That's all we have. Yep. See ya. Bye.